any good news is better than no good news. And after 10 years of increases in overdoses and deaths and prescriptions, uh, here in Massachusetts, and by the way, across most of the rest of the country, Massachusetts was one of the only states in the country that actually saw a drop in deaths, a drop in prescriptions, and a leveling off in overdoses in 2017. And I think for us, as we go forward on this, the more we can do to create paths to treatment, the more we can do to help people sustain their recovery once they get into treatment, and the more we can do to continue to prevent people from becoming addicted in the first place, the better off we will be here as a commonwealth. And that is really what this legislation does. It builds on many of the pathways and the successes of our first legislation, but it's pretty clear at this point we need to do more, and we're looking forward to seeing the legislature move on this between now and the end of the session, which at this point is only about 100 days away. We are um, extraordinarily heartened by what we hear about recovery coaches and the opportunity when people are really at um, the depths of despair of their illness, that is recovery coaches who have walked that walk, um, who have op opened a door, an opportunity, a pathway of hope because they've lived it and they have a legitimacy that for some people who are so in despair of their addiction can't find that pathway. So as the governor said, um, we are part of the CARE Act bill is to, in fact, expand opportunities of recovery coaches in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And my role really is to um, encourage and empower people to find their own voice and learn how to advocate for themselves and navigate really complex systems of care and access treatment. Um, it's not always easy when you don't feel really good about yourself and you're kind of um, filled with guilt and shame. And um, it's really difficult sometimes to pick yourself back up from rock bottom. And having somebody who's a peer um, who's also been in your shoes kind of support you along that journey sometimes makes it a lot easier. Being able to even for one year reverse the trend in opioid deaths is a significant success and it's something that um, has happened because of the leadership of the folks in state government working in partnership with folks like the Gavin Foundation, North Suffolk Mental Health, many of our other members. But the governor's, governor's larger point is well taken. There's much more work that needs to be done. The CARE Act is a significant piece of the puzzle to winning this battle with the opioid epidemic.